making the pumpkins now and I'm going to be changing up my technique a little bit. Um, I'm adding, we're going to make them a pumpkin coconut goodie. So I'm just going to use all that up. Yum, 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 yum. And the fragrance that I've chosen is Vanilla Pumpkin Marshmallow from Aztec. And I might actually add a little cane sugar cookie because I like the cookie. So I'm going to do a little blend again. That's what I do, guys. But it's got to have that little pumpkin marshmallow scent in there. Um, we are also going to be working with um, this Fairies Easy Color Dyes. So we're going to make it orange. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And orange can turn to a darker red. I don't think it's going to make it orange. I'm just thinking of embeds that aren't going to be weird. Let me just make sure this is orange and not green. So I have I have one that's strange. It looks orange and then it's not. It turns into something else. Oh yeah, that's orange. So it's just Let's just get all that stuff that I accidentally and just put that in there too. There we go. Now there's no citric acid in here. Well, there's a little bit because I started to add it accidentally early. Um, so let's see how orange that is. Really doesn't take much. This little bag will last you forever if you are a DIYer. If you are making it commercially, you might consider going to Europe and getting your own supplier. There's a really good one in the UK. If you're interested, let me know and I will send you their way. You have to buy it a kilogram at a time though and that's expensive. But it's not like it'll go bad if you have big plans. So I want that darker. I want I think I'm going to do like a little bit of, I think that's as much as we want, like totes. Yeah. So I'm kind of blooming as I mix. Oops. So let me show you what this is going to look like in the water. nice bright orange color just a little tiny bit so the whole bath will get nice and orange like an orange bath we're gonna make you an orange bath here and I think I'm gonna put some red in beds just to make it a deeper orange red and yellow in beds I don't know <gasps> maybe I'll put a little sparkle in the middle I like those sparkle bombs. I need to make some sparkle bomb in beds, and I think I'm going to do them with cocoa butter because that would be awesome. Don't you think that would be awesome, guys? The cocoa butter. So I'm going to add just a wee bit more of this. Rather than spritzing, I'm just going to use a little water today. See, technique is more important than anything else with this particular kind of project. You have to know what you're working with and you gotta work quickly. You can use alcohol to spritz with. You can use, well of course I'm gonna make it all orange now. Okay, we're gonna use about, let me get my, let me get my measuring, measuring thing out. Where are you? There you are. Sorry guys. Had to open the cupboard. We're going to put a jigger in there. Literally it's, yeah, it's marked guys. <laughs> cool huh? <laughs> I like that one. That's a fun measure. And like I said, I'm just going to tip in just a touch of this one to sweeten it up. So that sugar cookie from Nature's Garden. Because I'm all about sugar cookies. Now, if you get this next 
mixed to it. You can let it dry out if you haven't added your citric acid. Just, you know, come back to it tomorrow. Spread it out and it's ready and it's bloomed and it's, you know, it's a done deal. It's fine. Okay. Once you add that citric, though, you're kind of committed to the color. You're committed to the color. You're committed to your mix. And that is very good. So, what kind of emollient should we add? I'm going to add a little bit of this mixture I use from my Manny Petty Bombs. Because it's so wet, I'm going to add a little bit. And it's got lemongrass in it, too. And that just made my pumpkin smell like more like pumpkin. Cause you know, pumpkin and lemon and spices. It's so good. I love lemon glaze on top of my pumpkin cake. Does anybody else like lemon glaze on top of their pumpkin cake? Okay. Mmm. So that had angora, hydrolyzed angora in it. Cause you know, that's kind of my signature thing. It had honey. Again, another thing I put in everything. Propolis. Again, another thing I put in everything. <laughs> and a couple of other things I'll list them below if you want to know. Anyway, they'll be on the they'll be on the tag if you buy the product. Alright, so we're gonna put the last ingredient in. Now there's cornstarch in here, so that's it was just a matter of I had a little bit of cornstarch and so I didn't want it to have two dirty bowls, so we just used the bag. <laughs> Hopefully, this will mix very well. From here on out, I'm going to use alcohol because I've used plenty of the other stuff. Now, if you sift, you won't have little bits. The light I like to mix to know that my, um, I like to hand mix because just, just to make sure that everything's fully incorporated and it's kind of a tactile thing. I think it's fun to find the little, you know, white things and smush them. <laughs> Does anybody else like to do that? <laughs> like to hand mix because it's fun. It's like playing in sand. <laughs> I am having a blast just so she knows. I think I'm going to use some gold in this one. I think it's going to be a golden pumpkin, maybe a you know, Cinderella pumpkin kind of treat. So I am going to put like a teaspoon of gold in the center of each of these. Because I love the high ho silver and you guys just totally gave me some great ideas, Lush. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I like to think it goes both ways. There's a lot of really creative soapers out there that have created things even before Lush. Uh, I'm wondering. But um, it's all just creative minds thinking alike. So don't don't get worried about sharing. I mean, you can't make them for the whole world anyway. I can't. I, I'm okay if you make something just like mine. Now, if it's just exactly like mine, right after I put it on Instagram, I'm going to be a little cheesed with you. Because <laughs> give me some time for my glory. <laughs> but after that, you know. Or just give me credit. That would be awesome. Then more people would know about the Gen Spice channel. And that would just make me so happy because everyone I have here is so amazing already. Okay, so I think we're going to use some of this blend that has actual 24 karat gold in it. So we're going to have a little authenticity going on here. So I'll have this. Yeah, I've got enough for the bombs. A little bit inside. So because I don't want anything else to interfere with this beauty, so you see the gold leaf on there guys? Do you see the gold leaf? That's going to end up in the bars. If you want some pure gold, <laughs> can get some of my pumpkin bombs. Okay, so I'm going to half fill each of these. can't see anything I'm doing, I'm sure. I'm half out of the camera, sorry. Okay. 
So I'm going to make a little well because I don't want it to show from the outside. I want it to be right in there. And we're going to pour the mica in. Oh, that's too much. That's about right. Move that out because that's way too much. I'm using all of this so it can go back in there. Let me just double check all of these. All right, now we're going to finish filling them all. These are huge, by the way. These are huge bath bombs. So big, like half a pound big. They're enormous, enormous. Oh, this is the perfect amount. We have a few for, well, maybe not, maybe we'll just, I love how I can press on the Nordic molds. I'm like, you know, the Milky Way molds. I mean, I love the designs that are created. Something about this heavy duty metal, you can really just, you know, push in there. It makes these spectacular. And I'm just gonna make sure they're flat. Those are not. <laughs> I just want to make sure I'm not like dipping into it. This one's too big or if it's just the right size. I have a smaller one if it's too. Oh, it's too big. Heat. Heat. Just a little pushed together, squished, squished, and look, we have a sample one. Let's see if it works with this one. You just slightly tap. It changes how it sounds when it's ready to lift off. And there we get a bath bomb, which I'm going to set aside for now. I'm going to set it there. So many, so many bath bombs. If I ever have many hands to help me out, <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> Okay, so these are ready to pop out. They're nice and hard. 
gonna put all the extras over there. And I'm gonna flip them right onto this tray here. So I'm going to be a little more gentle with these. These don't have the uh, the butters in them. So they're a little more delicate. Um, I think I'm going to anyway. No, maybe not. We'll just do as you mean to go on. they won't and they worked yay <laughs> so we'll leave these be while they set up and I'm gonna put them in my oven to dry I have a soapy oven I'll have to show you one of these days but they're pretty delicate right now so we'll leave them hopefully they won't crack it does happen and I will paint on some little faces and maybe even give them a little green top we're gonna do some painting again always fun so come back for the painting of the bath bomb okay guys I am just getting ready to paint these right now so we're gonna mix up the micas and this already has a little bit of blue and I'm gonna add some more of this hunter green because I want it to be a dark green mica that I'm painting with so let's get a little more of this green in here and we'll see where we're at. Now, this one poofs out every time I I really don't like the pouches. The pouches poof. And I get it everywhere. It's worse than bath bomb creating. At least if I'm done with bath bombs, it's all soapy and clean. But you just... <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. That's nice and thick. Let's do a little tester on top. See what if it's the right color. I can always cover it up. Oh yeah, I like it. I like it. I like it. So I'm just gonna do the little tops of these all the way around. And I've mixed it with alcohol. Now, if you've got 90%, use 90, but this is what I've got right here, and I don't want to dig around, so works for me. I'm not really getting them wet. I'm just transferring a little little touch of color to each little bath bomb. There's not a lot going on here anyway. And the alcohol does help it. stick. So there's two. So what kind of bath bombs do you like in the holiday time? Do you like, this is my, my pumpkin contribution. These are now in the store, so you can get them if you want them while they last. So it is a rainy day and I still have really great bath bombs. Why is that? Why are my bath bombs so perfect even though it's a rainy day? Well, part of it's because I formulated for my climate. Part of it's because I know when to mix and when to stop. And part of it is the ingredients that I use. So mastering bath bombs, which, you know, two years ago I was contacting Crystal star from star soaps because I was just I couldn't remember how to make bath bombs uh oh oh no we're fine it's just sparkle it's not water I thought I had water on there that would not help that would make things very very bad <laughs> anyway I contacted Crystal I'm like what am I doing wrong with my bath bombs and I was listening to Karen from Eden Secret and what she does with her bath bombs I mean she leaves them overnight in the mold and then pops them out so do whatever works for you, for me, it was more about the balance 
of citric and bicarb and oils and then I either put them if it's the summertime I'll put them in the refrigerator for a while because I use hard oils or so we're done with that and I just got red mica everywhere for another project nice I love red mica not so let's see if I want to do this. This is going to be kind of hard. I might need a smaller brush. I need a smaller brush. I don't know where my itty bitty brush is though. I might also need my glasses. I'm not going to put a lot of this here, just enough so you can see the detail. Oh, it's so shrinky. I like it better without so there's just gonna be one with the jack-o-lantern face <laughs> but you can see it right and it's it's pretty cool so that one's for me my face guy <laughs> he had something weird going on with color anyway so this was gonna be a really great box so work slow guys that's the the, the tip I want to give you today work slow because sometimes you like it better simpler than how you'd originally planned.